Welcome, we're here at the backstage where we do guitar, bass, drum, piano, saxophone, group lessons. We also have a stage here where we do uh, live shows. We will do rehearsal, uh, rent it out for rehearsal space and even uh, live recordings. My name is Silo and you can find me on all social media platforms under Silo Guitar. And if you have any questions or have any recommendations on any future guests for this podcast, please email me at silo at siloguitar.com or you can leave a comment below. Okay, thank you. Also behind the camera, we have Mr. Ivan Gomez. Uh, you know what? Wait, you know what? Let me get let me get a little bit get a little bit of footage of Mr. Ivan. <laughs> thank you, Ivan. <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> there you are. So anyways, um, yeah, he's doing all, all our audio video productions for the show. And our guest today is country artist Devin Brinsfield. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Hey, let the audience know where they can get your social, where they can find your music. Uh, let them have your social media handles and everything. Okay, you can find me on Spotify, Devin Brinsfield. Uh, Instagram would be Devin underscore Brinsfield. And then Facebook is just Devin Brinsfield. Uh, also, I'll be having a website pretty soon, uh, just Devin Brinsfield. Try to keep it simple as possible because my name is hard to uh, type in. I always have problems with people trying to ask. I'm not gonna lie, like actually, because like, cause, like sometimes it's B R Y N or then or I N and then yeah, the D I B I N or Y N. Yeah. yeah, you get me. You you kind of get me. I, I think I got it now though. <laughs> yeah, I, I need. I've been following you heavily for like the last like two or three months, so that's the thing. It's like so now it's like stuck in my head. Well, we're gonna go a bit of around back and forth Q and A and everything, but first, you know, we're gonna uh, start it off with a little bit of music. Um, you have a song for us. What um, what's the title? Uh, Moonshiner's Ballad. Okay, what's this song about? Uh, well, I was watching a documentary on moonshining one night, and I just wanted to write a song about it, so I wow. wrote a song about it. Okay, right on, right yeah, on. Yeah, and okay. uh, in the song it says, driving my Ford Model AV8, yeah. which is a, a... Ford Model AV8. AV8, yeah, it's a... Was, was that that, they had to outrun? Old, yeah. Yeah, they had to outrun, car. they had to outrun the cops, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so isn't people, that when, when, when racing started? Yeah, yeah, I think that's what NASCAR started from. Was yeah, it was moonshining, boot, right? Yeah, bootlegging. Uh, or bootlegging, bootlegging is what yeah. it was. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, dude, all right. That's so, cool, that's cool. People think it, I'm saying Ford Model 88, which is fine if that's yeah. what you want to think, but it's yeah. AV8 just to clear up everything. All right. <laughs> hey, how about this? You know what? Let's get started. Let's get some music going, and we'll be right back. Every man. 
Hey, man, that was a cool song, dude. Thank oh. you. I appreciate it. Okay, so you have a live version of this, too? Or, uh, like, you uh, do this live? Yeah, I do it live, yeah. And uh, the studio version, I don't know when it's coming out, but it's basically done. Oh, is it basically done? Yeah. Oh, okay, right on, right on. Um, hey, what are your influences? Uh, well, of course. Uh, like, I can give a few guesses, but, you know, and I'm pretty sure, like, you what know. What would you guess? Um, definitely. Well, we, hey, we're Bakersfield, man. Yeah. You know, like, dude, so, <laughs> yeah. of course, you got you to gotta support some of our, lo you know, our local uh, artists here, you know, so like Merle Haggard for of course, sure, yeah. maybe some Buck, you know, um, but yeah, so definitely, but like, tell me a little bit more about like how, like, let's say your influences, but how they, how, how does, how did they, how did they influence you still till this day? Um, I think, you know, with Merle, it's, he's so straightforward and Merle is just Merle, yeah. whether you like him or not. And I kind of like that about him. Uh, He's a great songwriter. Great songwriter. Great guitar player. Yep. And probably one of the most underrated singers, I think, of oh, all wow. time. Okay. I, I, well, was he underrated, you think? I I've think never, so. I've never heard that. I, I didn't see him on, uh, what is that, Rolling Stone's Top 100 Singer, so... I was, oh, pretty, I was pretty burnt about that. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Well, you know, I mean, like, I think as far as country, though, if there was, like, a, a, a country list, there, he'd definitely oh, be on yeah. there. He's, to me, he's the king. Yeah. I, I think a lot of people would put him at least top three. Uh, definitely a lot of his songs, especially like, especially they do go into the way, uh, what life was about at that mm -hmm. moment. Yeah. You know, a little bit of, like, he didn't, I don't think it was, like, politically controversial. Yeah. But it was along those lines where he was definitely outlining what life was like. Mm -hmm. You know, great storyteller, like, like you know, great songwriter. With, with the song that you were playing, um, how do you prepare for something like that? Like, let's say, for instance, what are your practice routines? Like, do you do, you do any of that? Or, like, how, how, do you, how, do you do, how do you work your day to day routine? So, I try to wake up every morning around 8 o'clock and I go into work at 2 30 p.m. I try to use that time to write at least one song, whether it's good or bad. I'm trying to get something on paper. Yeah. And most of the times it's going to be bad. But every every now and then you come out with a good one. Gotcha. Yeah, and then I'll send them all to Kyle or whatever, and he probably gets uh -huh. annoyed by it. <laughs> Explain Kyle real quick. Uh, Kyle, uh, give him a shout-out, man. Come Kyle, on. Kyle uh, he's the one of the best musicians in Bakersfield. Uh, Dude. He's just Dude, he's got an ear for everything. He can play guitar. He can play the banjo. He can play the steel guitar. Um, he's helped me out through everything, and uh, he's yeah. just a good friend. Yeah, no, yeah. he's a great, he's a great guy. Yeah. Let me let me see here. So, so you say that your practice routine is you you definitely write something down every single day, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I think I, I can't remember where I heard that, but I heard that that was one of the ways that you that songwriters have to operate. Mm -hmm. I can't remember if it was Kurt Cobain or who somebody in their book said that. Yeah. So if anybody can definitely. Correct me on this. Write it in the comments because I can't remember. My brain's was, a little hazy. It was it was years ago when I heard this, and they said like the, the one of the keys is that you have to write something every day. Mm -hmm. Every day you should write a, like whether like you said like if it's not good or whether it's great. You know mm -hmm. like, and so I think that's a that's a good that's a good one. Like I always try to like play every day for sure, and then. You try to play the same things, but then it's like you want to introduce new things, so you're always evolving, you're always mm -hmm. growing. So yeah, yeah, same thing. Uh, with me, I'm not that good at guitar, um, so I just focus on writing. Okay. And it, probably the hardest thing is coming up with a melody to a song. Like yeah. the lyrics are easy; you could write down lyrics, but the melody, like, yeah. is your melody going to sound the same as the last melody you wrote, or is it going to sound the same as a Merle Haggard? Melody? or something yeah it could sound almost the same but you don't want to copy it completely you know? no i hear you on that like i've had a writing process of course i think everybody's had that problem though. yeah because our influence our influencers the people that are influences like us we we start to sound like them mm-hmm um, if you hear my playing, then you could probably pick out a bunch of dudes. Oh man, he listened to this guy or this guy, Santana or Jimi Hendrix or yeah. whatever. You know, like you go down the line, and everybody usually sounds like somebody, kinda. Mm -hmm. You know, like I always say that you take the melodies that you learn from somebody else, and then you kind of try to make them your own. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and that's just what music has been forever. Yeah, forever.
when the when the printing press first came out, I think it was, and then people would get copies of those, and then would, that's whenever it was the first times they were really copying somebody, mm -hmm. and then making it their own, and then so there was it was easily easy, more easily to be done. Yeah, yeah. So like evolving from yeah. So I don't know. I just heard that like maybe a couple of days ago. So um, outside of country music, what kind of music do you listen to? Would your audience be surprised uh, what's on your personal Spotify playlist? I think, like, if you were going to ask what the most surprising would probably be, like, Vicente Fernandez, uh, Ramon Ayala. Whoa, okay, yeah, you, okay. Pedro what? Infante, things like that. Uh, my girlfriend got me into that stuff, and I love it. It's, it's pretty similar to country music. Man, I say that all the time. Yeah. I say that constantly. I'm telling, I tell people, like, you know, like, country and... Uh, Mexican or Spanish music, but but even at that, like I always say that, like because it because it, it all that because it has this one to five kind of thing going. Mm -hmm. Usually, like the basic one, uh, but like if you go to other countries, you go to Germany, they kind of they have the same thing. Yeah. They're old folk. The old folk yeah. always comes usually from like a one to five thing. So if you're going G, then you're going to D. Going to G, yeah. going to D, you know, or something like so, or, or C to G, C to G. But anyways. Um, you know that they they have that foundation, mm -hmm. and you know the the only thing that I always say that's different is of course the language, um, but also the accordion is like the twangy guitar. Yeah, or the uh, you or know the steel guitar. Or yeah, the steel guitar. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The accordion like takes over that you know that role. So they just have different instruments. Mm -hmm. So it's but they they're they're really similar. I really like the operatic singing of it too. Like Vicente, you oh, could yeah. sing like an opera if he wanted to. Yeah. Oh yeah. Totally can. Um, I don't really understand Spanish, but I can tell you whenever I hear it, I listen to the song. Mm -hmm. I still listen to it because of the the. The, the his voice it just has a lot of like warmth to it the timbre of it it's just yeah. like really I don't know it's it just it's just great it's the highest level I think probably for that style of music yeah so, for sure um, now next question what are your thoughts when you see headlines like country music is on the rise or after the 2023 streaming report came out and it declared country music as the fastest growing genre, and I have numbers right here, 23.8%. How does that make you feel? Well, so I have two <laughs> trains of thought when it comes to this. It's one, one of them is like, okay, but what is country music to you? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because you could just put a song out and it has an acoustic guitar and you could say it's country music, yeah. but it sounds more folky than in country. And then the other one would be like, well, at least it's bringing, you know, ears to our our audience. Maybe it's bringing more people and then they'll get more invested in like, you know, the Sturgill Simpsons or the Tyler Childers of the genre and not like, you know, the Luke Bryans or whatever, which is like, they're under the same genre, but it's not really country in my opinion. Okay. You know what I mean? It's more poppy than country. I see. So, so it, it's like a little bit of happiness and then a little bit of like, I guess, like sadness that I, I get scared that we're going to lose the genre uh, to pop, kind of like how we were talking about with rock. But, yeah, you know what? The one thing, though, is that I think pop already kind of already filtered its way. It made its way into country, though, right? Yeah, it, it yeah, really back has. In the 60s, yeah, but but even in the last like 10, 15 years, there's a mm -hmm. lot of songs that like if you change some of the instruments around and made it electronical, it would be a pop song. Yeah, take for the sure. the twang of the voice out, and it would be a pop song. Yeah, that's what I call it, uh, pop with the twang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I got. Uh, Ivan, write that one down. <laughs> I got to pop with the twang. <laughs> pop with the twang. <laughs> okay. But like we were but, saying earlier, yeah. it's, country is like the one, four, five, just like blues is the one. Yeah. Four, it's surrounding around that one, four, five. I think a lot of the times, I mean, you know, you can add one, like other chords in there, but like that one, four, five foundation, when it's there, then it's like, because like to me, country, and it, it's, it's a story. Like if, if there's a story in there, um, that's that's country like, like especially like the older the older man. If you take it back, western, 
mm-hmm. you know, like country, and then like, cause it's almost like gospel. Mm-hmm. Like you mix blues and gospel, and then you kind of, I think you kind of get country from that. Yeah. And, you know, because there's a story behind it, the one, four, five progression, in case you don't know what a one, four, five is, that's a three, we're talking about three different chords. <laughs> uh, usually, How many are there in the, in the number system? Seven? Uh, what, what do you mean by that? Like one through seven. And then if you're going to... Oh, so if you're doing the number system, like a Nashville yeah, number like system? Nashville yeah, 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 yeah. Then it's one through seven, yeah. yeah. So then, and then you can put, like, the numbers next to that, like the Roman numeral with the numbers yeah, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, so that way... And then that's what really separates a lot of the music is that, like, let's say, for instance, you have the... Um, Instead of a, a just a regular major, you could it could be a minor next to that. Mm-hmm. So it could be a one four five all minor, and then mm-hmm. it has this like a, a different sound. Yeah. Or you put all dominance, and then it has that's like the traditional blues. Yeah. But you take that away and you do straight majors, then it's more, way more country. Yeah. Or right, and so it, or it is country because like I mean, you, but you can flip flop those chords. But um, yeah, I don't know. I like that. Whenever I hear hear it, that's what I'm hearing though. Whenever I hear like the the older tunes. Uh, the tunes that they could jam, that you can jam to, I think, like yeah. those tunes, like where it's like you can get guitar solo going on, fiddle solo, yeah. like all these different solos going on, and it's just a big jam at that point. And I think that's what that's what it is. It's like for me, I like the jam aspect of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Because me too. because like when you when you think when you talk about folk, what is folk? Folk is something where it's like folk is supposed to be where we're all involved. Uh-huh. You know, like whether you you have a shaker. Or, you know, whatever it is, like, you're, you're involved somehow. Like, that's how, like, our ancestors would, would do it. It's like, like, they would, everybody would make their own instrument at that point. And then you had a role, even if you had a thing that was doing, like, like this or whatever. Like, you had, like, knockers or whatever, like, shakers. Like, everybody had their thing that they would do. Mm-hmm. And uh, when you do it all together, that's, like, the concept of folk. Yeah. You know, and so that's what I like. So that when you do those three chords, you can do them all day. You could do a jam for 15 minutes and it will never get dull. You know, and that's the thing is like, because then you're like switching. Well, I don't want to get too far into scales or anything like that. But <laughs> well, like what I would say about, you know, the debate of what's country and not country. Um, to me, what I like, I think I like all kinds of music, but. The thing that's most important to me is, is it like self-aggrandizing or is it talking about, you know, life? You know? Yeah. Because a lot of story. music the, now the is, story. a lot of music now is like, like, it's so self-centered and it's like, you're talking about how cool you are or what, whatever that is. And I, I'm not into that really. Yeah. You know, yeah. I can't, I don't know if I, if I stand behind that so much, like. Yeah, no, no, I, I hear you on that for sure. Like, if it's like a story, cause like, like, let's say we we're talking about Merle just a minute ago. Like, um, all his, like a lot of his songs, he was talking about like what was going around around him. Yeah, you know, and then like he's cap, and you know, I guess look, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip this a little bit. Ivan, where are we at in time? Anyways, I was gonna flip this over here. Yeah, I don't want to do. It. <laughs> okay. All right, so look, like the beginnings of like NWA, right? Yeah. Like, dude, like, I'm, that's a little, I'm taking this a little extreme right now, but they were telling the stories yeah. of what they were going through. I love that's NWA. All, and exactly, yeah. you see, that, 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 that's, that's what it is. I mean, I'm not trying to say NWA's country, okay? Like, I'm just saying that. <laughs> it's real like, music. It's real music, yeah. and they're talking about what actually is happening. You know, um, but like I know what you're saying. Like if you're gonna boost your ego or something, yeah, it's like, yeah. man, I got a million dollars and all that. Uh-huh. Like, oh yeah, dude, I can only take so much of that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, okay. So I think we uh, kind of got a little bit of what country is, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But um, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let, try to wrap it up. I don't want to want this to go too too long here. But um, I personally love the Bakersfield music scene. Me personally, I love it here. You know, and so. I love the venues, the people, and the community as a whole. And country music has been a staple in this town since, like, the beginning. Like, for the longest, Mm -hmm. the longest living genre in this city, right? What do you think this city needs? Or what would you like to see changed? I honestly, like, I thought about this for a while, and I love the music scene so much. It doesn't matter what genre you're in here. 
it seems like everybody gets along. Everybody tries to help each other out. Yeah. And everybody's cool. <laughs> and I honestly don't think I would change anything about it because, you know, whether it's you or yeah. it's Michael <laughs> Peters or it, yeah. you guys have all helped me out and you guys, you know, you're not in country. Yeah. Uh, Michael is, but it it doesn't really matter like no, we're all doesn't. just kind of lifting each other up and i think yeah that's the way it should be everywhere it's com it's a real community it is because you know i talked like especially this past week you know like i um uh, definitely like you know i look at the list of all the bands that are playing in town and i look at it and i'm just like wow i'm i feel blessed yeah i really do i feel blessed that like you know i'm gigging every weekend you know and then not only that though like not just I mean, let's just look at me, but no, no, but like I, I've been watching you for a while now, and you're on the same, the same thing, the same like uh, wavelength where you're just always busy gigging, gigging Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and it's just like I don't know any other place where we can do that, you know, yeah. like like maybe the some bigger, bigger cities in other states, but like I, I try to think of other cities around us, and I can't think of another place. You know, uh, even like in LA and stuff, I don't know like anybody that's gigging like this, like mm -hmm. doing like 12, 13, 14 gigs a yeah. month and or, 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 or can get that many gigs. Yeah. You know what? And I'm, I want to ask right now, like if, 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 if somewhere, if you're like whatever city you're in, people are doing that, let it, hey, drop a comment, let us know. Well, we'd like to visit. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't want to do honestly. I do. I love it here. I do too. I love it's, it here. I love the people. You know, just everywhere I go, it's it's man, it's just so welcoming. So you know what, Devin, thank you for coming on. Thank you, I dude. Really, you man. Like I, I told you that this was gonna happen too. I was like, dude, I'm gonna, dude, we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do something, man. You know, and if it's this, because yeah, because like you said, I don't do country music, so I don't think we'll. We'll ever cross paths, but it, like on, on, on like a stage or anything. But as far as like doing something like this, like helping like other musicians out, that's I love doing that, you know. And you know, and, and um, there's uh, one thing I wanted to uh, say because you you brought up the topic of, of getting like 15 gigs. Like if we could help somebody else out, give them advice about like because oh, yeah. me, I grind I grind it out. I wake up in the morning, I write my song, whatever. And then it's like I'm emailing people from all over California. You know? Yeah. I'm hitting them up. So it's not like you're just sitting around waiting for somebody to give you a call. Yeah. You got to grind it out. Dude, you know what? That's where you know their podcast. Hey, yeah. you, would you want to come back on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want to come sure. back on? Okay. To be continued, all right? That, yeah. like, 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 I think we're out of time. Ivan, okay, yeah, Ivan's waving. And he's like, cut, cut. Anyway, <laughs> hey, Devin, dude, thanks a lot for Thank coming you. on, man. I all right. It. All right, till the next time, everybody. We'll catch you next time.